Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and uh, to-do lists were made for ignoring, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, I got the, the sort storage done. Still haven't done... I haven't done anything with the tree farm. I haven't done anything with the melon pumpkin farm. What I did do, though, is... Uh, oh, I just realized how dark it is. Uh, for some reason, it looks lighter on my screen than it does on the stream. So let, let me uh, nappy nappy. <clears throat> because it is always nighttime just as I'm about to go live. No matter how carefully I try to time it, it just never seems to work out any other way. Ah! You, you, you see, uh, <laughs> that ugly temporary storage over there, it, or shall... Uh, that ugly temporary bat farm is done with only one extra death added. I finally got the two zombie villagers I needed to get a village started. So uh, they, there's a cluster of the village people. I, I probably ought to get a couple more going. I think I emptied up two more beds getting this going. This is a farm that Avamance put together relatively recently. Hello, Beach Duck. Um... It is designed for iron, and you still have access to trade with these guys. So that is, that is obviously why I went with this go-round. So I just need to finish up uh, the last couple little bits. Uh, we got a park of zombies butt over here. Ostensibly, this door should... Should... Um, allow for allow for me to turn the farm on and off uh the idea being that the zombie is going to be here and this door is going to break eye contact with them uh so he can't see the villagers but yeah i guess i guess that does, it is going to be a problem every time they go there so as long as he's here his line of sight to them is blocked but that one little corner, so I might have to very carefully make my way uh, to change those stairs into into solid blocks. Because the flip side of this conundrum is when this door is up, he needs to be able to see them, and if they can go hide in that corner there, uh, then he can't properly scare them into producing iron. All right, enough of that rambly rambly. Let's uh, let's get to the fun part. I need to go steal a bucket of lava from my cobblestone generator up above. Um. Oh, side note before before I get too far too far distracted from it. Uh, if you remember from my last attempt to get villagers, I was running low on gold and golden apples. Uh, solve that problem because I was reminded of the fact that. One of the options on our biome changer is the nether wastes, which means nether mobs spawn in the chunks in the overworld that are designated nether wastes. So I went to change that chunk and that chunk where the mob farm rests into nether wastes. Uh, went and shaved and showered and, you know, let all the mobs fall as they may. And I found out that I accidentally changed the entire island in other ways. That that was uh, that was rather harrowing to clean up. But the long and the short is, is that by using that farm with this area in another waste, I was able to collect enough gold to do that. And this is a poor, poor, poor uh, farm for that indeed, because the the zombie piglins and all of that uh, when they fall, they drift. When this is running as a normal mob farm, that's not a big deal because they land in the water, they get pushed into the fire, and die eventually. Nether mobs, like zombie pigpen, um, they're fine with fire. I mean, they literally live in hell, so uh, they're fine with fire. A and so that will not kill them. They will just slowly collect every, you know... Every couple ones that drop in the water will slowly collect in there. Uh, some of them were even standing on the pressure plates over there. Uh, <laughs> they, they wouldn't move forward or back. Or I don't know what's up with the pathfinding, but they, they'd stay right there. 
A- and eventually, if you leave yourself AFK long enough, I found out the hard way that your mob cap will be sitting there in that little 3x3 three three grid over the fire, not dying. Um, <clears throat> so, I think uh, what I will do in the future is I will, sp- once I get a sheep or two, uh, I got to figure out which challenge I got to do to get my sheep spawn. Um, once I get a sheep or two, I will I will then redesign this. So the fall between where those leaves are and here is a giant continuous tube. And that way, uh, I don't have to worry about them drifting away from the fire. I, I may even put a lava blade up uh, somewhere over here to help cut down the big slimes. Oh, also, also, the the way my ADD riddle brain works. Um, when you have these two chunks set to nether wastes, these are no longer slime chunks. They are magma cube chunks. And so when you have these set to nether waste and you, you turn this farm on, uh, magma cubes will spawn in here and not die in the fire, unfortunately. Fortunately, though, that means that I can oh, take a little bit of fall damage as I jump off the ladder. I can make uh, fire resistance potions, which we will use to go to the nether and get... Um, sorry, there we go. Okay. Hmm. I can do a little bit of that action too, right? Uh, there we go. All right. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, these guys are working out pretty good. All right. Um, so, yeah, I, I've got my fire resist potions. We can, oh, I'm going to need the extra bucket of lava to, because the second I grab, okay. okay. It'll make sense in a minute. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. Uh, I also made one small change to this. If you remember the last time my uh, cocoa bean farm had a lever and I'd have to pull the lever, wait until I thought it was enough and then not. Uh, it turns out two repeaters worth of four ticks delay is just enough to run a harvest at a button push. There we go. Bam. Done. Although, I probably won't be doing too many harvests. I mean, uh, what are the odds that I'm going to need more than three and a half stacks of cocoa beans? Although, I could be living on cookies right now. That sounds like an idea. That sounds like an idea whose time has come. No. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Let me... Oh, yeah. My blast furnace got moved over there. I'll make another one once the iron farm's actually, like, up and running. Um... And tucked in that corner over there, underneath that little cobble pillar, is a zombie villager. He's one of the ones that I rescued earlier in case I lost another villager to an unfortunate uh, conversion mishap. And uh, and so that also gives me the zombie for the iron farm, which I will get started as soon as I get another bucket of lava. All right, let's uh, let's go home. Oh, and let's say hello to Arcadius. Hello, Arcadius. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Sorry about that. Oh, no, not your rambly okay. ramble. Oh, I don't know. That, that's a matter of some debate. Oh, I finally got my first ancient debris in the uh, cobble generator too. <laughs> was it as annoying for you as it was for me? Uh, especially <laughs> since all I had was a stone pick. <laughs> 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 I, I left the diamond pick down in the box, you know, in storage below. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 was less good. <laughs> All right, let's uh, turn that into sandstone. Let's put the dirt away before I lose that. Finally, starting to get a healthy amount of dirt. Um. I am going 
going to need to make a pillar in the nether. I have no idea where there are stone bricks. My crack stone brick box. Somebody clearly can't put stuff away correctly. No, those aren't enchanted. I'll have to do that too. Actually, I should probably do that before I go into the nether since I got 33 levels. <laughs> Uh, I, I fear that death number 17 is uh, on the horizon. <laughs> Better you than me, my friend. Uh, where 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 are you at? Oh, I'm in the 20s. You got nothing to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Although that was uh, that that was also when we started the counter, as opposed to how many there's actually been. I I, I shudder to think. I probably still have you massively beat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. I am not going to take any shovels with me. I'm not going to take my bow and arrow. Because I don't have many yet. Keep a sword. I'll keep a couple of picks just in case something unfortunate happens. I need my potions of fire resistance. I'll probably only keep one on me. And I think I'll just take, because I still have so much cobblestone. So much cobble. All right, let's just grab a bunch of that. That way if I die horribly in a fire, it's not that big a deal. All right. Oh, I'm going to need a second bucket. Do I have enough iron yet for a second bucket? What irony? I need more iron to make my iron farm. All right. <coughs> Here we go. This is going to be... This is going to be something interesting. Hopefully every ass will jump on too. Her vines have finally reached the, uh, the end of the void. I don't think that's going to happen. No? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, if you remember, I mentioned last week that, uh, we had an unfortunate internet issue. Uh, that was because the uninterruptible power supply that powers all the internet stuff, you know, the router and all that, uh, died. And so Rest has, uh, graciously offered... Her, her uninterruptible power supply a as sacrifice for uh, until until the replacement battery comes in. All right, is this still the center of my island? I think this is. What am I looking at? Targeted block one twenty eight eighty two. Or sorry, negative one twenty eight eighty two. Right. At 120, no, In the nether, there is no water. You can't drop a water bucket like we did in the overworld. But what I can do... Oh, no, that's a bad idea. I can make bad choices. Bad choices. 
<laughs> many, many bad choices. <laughs> One or two here and there. It's fine. Uh, All right. Let me let that clear up. And I will try this again. Yeah, so Reyes is computerless until we uh, get the battery back in. And I must say that with one small exception, my my customer service experience with Triplate has been phenomenal. Triplate is the manufacturer of the uninterruptible power supply that I use. I have been very happy with the product itself. Um, when I called to say, "Hey, we're having a problem," they were absolutely fantastic about it. The guy that I talked to was absolutely fantastic. Uh, my only issue is that was a while ago, and I was told I would receive a um, an email when uh, when when the replacement shipped. I have not received any such email, so I don't know if the replacement battery has shipped yet or not. And I would very much like to know if I don't get an email by tomorrow, Thursday at the latest, uh, I will probably be calling and going, Hey, about this issue number, I, I take issue with the fact that I have not heard anything more about my issue. Um, you know, okay. So. In the nether, there are no buckets of water. If you remember from the overworld version of this, we we made a giant... Uh, oh, I forgot ladders. Where is my brain? Not fully engaged. It is running late, like I have been. Uh, <clears throat> there is no water in the nether. You can't put a water... but Well, you can try to put a bucket of water down, and all it's going to do is evaporate. Um, so... Hi, friend. I'll, I'll be back for your gold later. Uh, so, what you can do in the nether, though, is drink a fire resistance potion so you don't burn up. And swim in the lava like you would water. What am I looking for? Ladders. Uh, why, why my brain? All right, let me leave a placeholder there. I think I'm going to need more than 11 ladders, though. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need more than 11 ladders. I'm going to need all the ladders. There we go. Watch. That'll probably be like three ladders too few. <laughs> I shouldn't even joke about that. All right. <clears throat> so we yeah, are about huh I said no because that is your luck yeah no my luck is to be one ladder too short and not make the jump <laughs> <laughs> I guess I shouldn't take my shiny new uh, iron sword of unbreaking either but uh, I finally get a guy that can sell me another one for cheap so oh fuck so glad to have villagers again. Yeah, but do you have the emeralds to buy, Sid? <laughs> uh, I, I've got enough to get at least one more. And uh, once the iron farm gets going, he'll buy iron. <laughs> All right. And down we go. And I just, just <laughs> need to sit here and hold right click and... Keep an eye on, uh, keep an eye on my, uh, timer for the potion resistance, or the fire resistance potion. I know. Thrilling footage of a column being born. <gasps> Crazy. 
crazy stuff right there, man. Mm hmm. <laughs> three, four, th three. Of course, the nice thing is, unlike in the overworld, I don't have a void to fall through <laughs> down below here. <laughs> That's fair. Um. Okay, no, I got like six whole minutes left on this. That that should be plenty of time. He says with still a small amount of trepidation. Oh, am I... I've reached the bottom. Oh. Well, okay. Can... And that's as low as I can build. Huh. If I do... Nope. I want half a block lower than that. There we go. Oh, cool. Okay. That gives me all sorts of access. Except I think that's going to be the easier place to build, so that's probably what I'll do. Alright. Sweet. I just need to start building my way back up, except I want the ladder on the side that the uh, lava column's at. You have five minutes left. Alright, let, uh, let me finish getting a little more platform here. Oh, I'm going to want to change that up, though. All right. Because... Wait. I don't know. I don't even remember what the thought was. Ignore me. <coughs> well, I swim up a lava stream. <laughs> I, I, I almost feel like I should uh, I feel like I should have a I should be able to grab a stack of regular potatoes and walk out of here with a stack of baked potatoes <laughs> what oh, it, it should be a thing so I well I mean they changed it so that way when you place a wet sponge in the nether it instantly dries out yeah, you know, why why can't I why can't I toss a bunch of raw potatoes on the ground and, and then pick up cooked potatoes? Because don't eat sponge. That's <laughs> I mean I'm telling you, you don't you don't <laughs> want to eat a potato that was cooked like that. Look, I, I, I mean, sure, it's got the faint aftertaste of uh of uh minty brimstone, but not the aftertaste, man. You, it would kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it also bothers me that I got those blocks right under there that I need to. I need to clear them all out. <laughs> Although I wonder if I if I start clearing blocks down at the bottom, does that mean that? Uh... Hello, medic. Are you there? Hello. I How old are you? How many uh, wandering traders have you killed? Not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> How many wandering traders have you murdered? Enough. <laughs> Is it ever, though? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Uh, finally got some village people. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> they come in costume. Uh, they're about to be. I, I get. I got to figure out which one's which. First, I have to survive this uh, pillaring in the Nether, though, because I need more lava. Did you change your biome? Uh, in the nether? No, I did not. And I probably ought to. 
Yeah, I would say so. I, I've been going with the uh, bottom slabs for everything. Uh, I, you know, the, the big worry, though, is um, gas. Uh, they still don't spawn on bottom slabs. What do you mean? Uh, bottom slabs, buttons, redstone. Uh, I don't know if string blocks they're spawning or not. I but thought they just needed a like a six by six or eight by eight open area. It didn't matter what, what was underneath them. Uh, they do, but it does also check the ground. So it does check for things like uh, bottom slabs and string and thing. Okay. So I heard an Arcadius, but I don't see an Arcadius. No, I'm here. Well, again, I it... heard an Arcadius. <laughs> yeah, he, he he's done with the Zen Garden. I was going to switch over to my camera account and do a tour this time. Uh, so that way I could actually do a proper tour and, you know, show stuff off. Gotcha. All right, this is just going to be a very precarious platform for a while. I'll expand that later. I also found out that if you use the biome switcher to change your overworld biome to the nether wastes, your slime chunks become magma cube chunks. Ooh. Yeah. Magma cream. Yep. Well, that was easier than I than I feared. I'm not out of the nether with my two buckets of lava yet, so, uh... <laughs> let, let, let me not tempt fate here, uh, shall we? <laughs> Alright, I got my last potion of fire resistance there for, uh, for later. Hello, friend. Come on. Come on. I, I hate having you guys around. I'm going to make a trap for you later. Oh, just one gold nugget? Cheapskates. Alright. Let's, um... Let's get the ladders back. Not that one. Let's get the cobblestone back. Do not need that many slabs. Alright, let's put the gold nuggets away. The zombie flesh away. My last two potions of weakness and my last golden apple for now. I need. I actually need to go turn my farm back onto a magma cream farm again because the only one I have is the one in the item frame. <coughs> Alright. Let me put one bucket of lava away. For, uh, for when I move my cobblestone farm down. And let's go see about getting this iron farm finished so I can start getting that iron flowing. Uh, like I said at the top of the stream, this design is uh, one that Avomance put together. I made some 
minor changes decoration wise for now and I plan on making some bigger changes later on because uh, right now it has an on off switch that should theoretically let you let you turn the iron farm on and off a couple people in the comments were saying that the on off switch wasn't working for them so I, I'm not sure what's up with that or if we'll have the same problem so uh, we shall see about that uh, but what I want to do is I want to be able to, oh, and the other thing that I did different is I didn't put the hopper that's supposed to go there and the hopper that's supposed to go there because I just couldn't see dedicating four hoppers to this and I really wanted the extra storage. Um, I'll lose just a smidgen of iron in the process, but, uh, I can live with losing a little bit of iron for having two more hoppers worth of room in the cap. Um, but what I want to do is I want to hook up a, uh, comparator to either the chest or the hopper that feeds into this chest. So that way, either when this chest reads as full or, uh, if this hopper is is putting out a steady signal then it'll turn the farm off automatically so I don't have to worry about this overflowing and it'll just automatically turn it off and I still want to leave the manual shut off in case for whatever reason I just want to turn it off um, oh I forgot I forgot the stuff I needed to pillar up there to put this uh, bucket where it goes memory. I wish I could remember where I put it. And some of these other stations that I had initially set up for me to work at are about <laughs> are about to get moved to other places. Like, I definitely want at least one stone cutter. Maybe two. I definitely want at least one cleric. And possibly one uh... Is it Shepard? What's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, Shepard. Um, possibly. I'm not 100% sure on that one. And I, I need to make some more brick slabs to finish this up because I want that awning to reach over to where this fence is. I just, uh, I ran out of slabs while I was putting this together. And since I was going to have to come up here and rip up a few things to make this work, I, I figured I'd deal with that later. All right. How you do? I might even mention that those villagers sound stunning. All right. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Three, four. There we go. And I put the lava bucket there. That gives me the lava blade for... Oh, that is another thing that I did different. He used signs to retain the lava. I, I used uh, fence gates. Because I, I just... I hate the way signs look for stuff like that. I prefer to use fence gates. That's all it is. Just a just a matter of personal preference. No good reason.
I need I need to go grab what little I have in the way of rails. for now. I don't think I need temporary blocks. I think I need actual like blocks. Uh, oh, the slabs are going to be a bugger to replace. Alright. It's okay. That's fine. Because I need to run a rail from that guy there over here. I don't have enough. <laughs> I don't have enough to make that happen. So uh, it's definitely going to have to be. Um, and then, yep. Because I don't think you can put a rail on a slime. Oh, you can. Huh. For some reason, I didn't think you could put a rail on a slime block. Well, okay then. Forget this. No, 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 not, not quite like that. Uh, I'll just leave those there. That's going to be the... That's going to be the pain to... Powering these guys is going to be something special, too. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, hmm. This one through all the way. Okay. We'll do that. And then that. And then. And no of that. And then we can go from there. I don't really need much in the way of powered rail to get this guy going. Oh, there. There we go. That should be the last bit I need to go from there. And then he'll tuck in that corner right there. I just need... I don't think you can power slime blocks, though. Or, yeah, I don't think you can power slime blocks. Just enough sticks for the two levers. What I'll do is I'll just go like that. It's got those guys powered. And we'll go like that. Now those guys are powered. Actually. Actually. 
Actually. Let's uh let's take our chances and have this guy chase us. Hi friend. Come on. That's it. I really wish you wouldn't have stolen that cobblestone. Oh, of course. <laughs> because of course. At least you didn't take the minecart. There we go. All right. You gonna steal that one too? Get your new home. Okay, yep, I got the same problem other people said. That trap door is not causing him to be blocked from their line of sight. I mean, I do like that sound, but he's not supposed to be producing that yet. Hmm. Curiouser and cu ah, curiouser. Let me go grab some bricks and I'll start uh, randomly replacing stuff. When all else fails, right? Just start replacing stuff. Nope. Where did you come from? I thought I got rid of everywhere that could produce bats. Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. You're not supposed to be there. You are not supposed to be there. Jerk. Let me clear this up. You walk away. You walk away for one minute. Not good. How are you doing? Put that up for just a minute. Let's get this squared away. So now, no more spawnable spots. If you, if you, sir, could kindly um, just take two steps past the uh, the stone there. Greatly appreciate that. There we go. All right, let's try. Let's patch this up. Before, uh, before I forget, and we get other other iron golems spawning where they don't need to be. I forget the radius at which they uh, they spawn. I want to say this should be tall enough that they shouldn't be spawning down here, but um, memory being what it is. Oh, are you guys not scared anymore? Did okay. What changed? Everything. I... Good luck with that. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> now you know something that I've been having problems with on mine. <laughs> 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 
they just <laughs> randomly stop being scared. Uh, well, no, they weren't supposed to be scared, and they were, and they're still, they you know, they still weren't supposed to be scared, and they weren't, and and, and I, huh? <laughs> Fine, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Make make me iron. Go, my pretties. Make the iron. There we go. Look at that. There, there's ten iron right there. Alright. No, it no. feels good. It? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what, there we go. Going, I'm like, oh. Alright, which one of you guys has the iron trade already ready? No. I need more iron. Get to work. Get to work. <laughs> oh. What I hate is that I don't have enough spare hoppers to put in a poppy filter. Like yeah. that that's that's part of why I want the auto shut off so that way when that thing gets jammed up and backed up with poppies where did that extra wall... Oh, the extra wall came from over here. I was like, where did that extra wall come from? All right. Look at that progress. We got ourselves an iron farm, and it's working. Fantastic. Except I got stuck in the bog. Okay. Let me clean up this little... Uh, bat generator. I don't know if that's where they're coming from, but they were coming from somewhere, and I hate some. <laughs> what? You hate some, my precious? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll get to uh, we'll get to setting up stations. I was originally planning on keeping the the rest of the villagers together with the iron farm villagers, but then I realized that that was probably not the smartest idea. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is set up the villager trading stations over here. I might put two an iron golem near them in a box. So that way they they don't gossip and cause another iron, cause a flock of iron golems to go wandering about over here. Is that a flock or is that a herd? What's what what's the collective noun for iron golems? A, yes. A group? A rust? A a, a rust of iron golems? A bucket. A bucket. <laughs> that 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 might be a little bit closer to it. All right, now let's get this stuff put away because I won't need that for the moment. You know what else I miss? Having enough hoppers for an automated storage system. All right, I'm gonna need ah. I need like 20 more pumpkins for that challenge. Although, now that I got the iron for rails, I can start working on an actual proper melon pumpkin farm. Because uh, th th this guy, slow and steady he may be, but... Um, I still can't. That doesn't technically qualify for the iron farm challenge, even though it is a functional iron farm. So, uh, I'll fix that in a little bit. 18 more. And I just need... Oh, oh never mind. That's why I have those there. I need two jack-o'-lanterns. An axe probably would have been better, though. Because I'm going to go ahead and make uh, two golems. 
over by the village people. And I need to figure out... Alright, so the, the cap on villagers is 16? Alright. Yeah, max is 16. So that means that I need room, I need 13 villager trading stalls. And then I need to figure out oh, to stretch more. And then I need to figure out which villagers I'm going to need for my remaining 13. Although I've already got 10 hanging around right now. I need to figure out how I'm going to build my hall. I want to make sure that if they're not doing a good job, I can send them to the uh, Villager Retirement Center. The Reclamation Center? Well, I mean, they're not soiling green. I think I've got enough beds that I can get them working on the next two while I work on uh, villagers because I got 10 of the 16 now. Three of them actually have professions. Uh, I know I'm going to want a lot of librarians, but I'm not sure exactly which ones I want. Um, all right, one problem at a time. One problem at a time. Let's get you guys working on two more villagers. I really need to double all that, but I wasn't expecting to be doing this here. Alright, go about your business. Make the village bigger. Gonna have to get a name tag to silence that guy. Oh yeah, look at that iron. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's what I should have done. I should have tossed a uh, poppy over to the the zombie villager. <laughs> okay. Gotten him to uh to to oh. That's right. That's why I came over here for the iron. Because I was gonna... I, I, need, I need... to make some golems here in a little bit. It's a little too soon to be making an entire hall out of iron blocks. So, that's not gonna be it. I'm gonna need some granite and andesite. So I'm going to need polished granite slabs and polished andesite slabs. I always feel like I need to put a little more Boston into that andesite. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I couldn't tell you. That's almost golem's worth. Alright, so the villager wing is going to continue this way. Because that, that keeps it away from any slime chunks. I'm not sure how I'm going to build that way with that slime chunk right there. I'll burn that bridge when I get there. Uh, same with that direction. Um, I could put in that direction. So... This way it goes. I know I'm going to need 13 villager stalls, and I think what I'll do is I'll set this up as a dead-end hallway 
So it'll be six villagers, six villagers, and then one guy at the end. And then maybe I'll put an iron golem in the corner and an iron golem in the corner. And uh, and that way I don't have to worry about um, the gossip train getting uh, <laughs> more golems going. Because that, that, that is a concern. Uh, what I don't know is how big I want to build the uh, the villager trading stalls. I want to put a little bit of space between storage and the village people. Uh, I'm going to need some stone slabs and smooth stone slabs. Yeah, words. How do they work? I have coffee. I've even been drinking it. You, you oh. called for an Arcadius? Arcadius. Uh, he's got to remember how mute works. Yes. You wouldn't happen to have any uh, extra... What are these things called again? Hold on. Uh, nether bricks laying around? <laughs> oh, yeah, probably. Hold on. Oh, that is one thing that I that uh, I do want to check out. If if you put nether bricks in the overworld and change the biome, will will that count for for Skyblock to generate the uh, the Nether Fortress mobs? It would be kind of cool to be able to do that with the skeletons. Well, because what what I was thinking like is just, was if that's the case, then that just means that I refloor my existing mob farm with uh, nether bricks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Although I think the um, the the wither skeletons are more than two blocks high, so you'd probably have to adjust the roof a little bit. Three. The, are there three full blocks, not two in a fraction? Um, I want to say they count as two and a half. Okay. Because I, I know that I know that matters. I I hate these fractional mobs. They're they're. <laughs> yeah. Really. Although it's what makes uh, the creeper-only farms possible, so I, I shouldn't complain too much. That doesn't mean I'm not. It just means that I shouldn't. All right. Um, I'm going to need... I need some light gray carpet. Um, that means I'm going to have to go... There's Arcadius. Oh, I won that bet. <laughs> what bet was that? That I could get you on. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, I didn't realize we were taking pets. I'm just messing. Oh, there's one kid bouncing around. That's it? Just the one? Come on, guys. I gave you all those carrots. Get to villager making. I also probably ought to... Uh, Slide a work uh, a regular uh, crafting bench in here somewhere too, so that uh, I can pack the stuff down to uh, blocks easier. Maybe throw a couple of barrels for uh, iron blocks. Ooh, do I need fishermen? No, I don't need fishermen. The only reason why I needed fishermen the last time was for all the uh, cod that were getting dropped out of the. Uh, Guardian farm. 
I do not wish for that much fish. All right, let's start. Let's start figuring out some dyes. So I got black. Oh, I can jump straight to Lake Ray. Okay. Uh, gray. Oh, and for for one of the challenges, uh, uh, challenges for the wool collector, I'm thinking I, I I'm gonna have enough string to make the appropriate amount of wool. Uh, what I gotta work on is making the the dyes for the. So I got the it, it's going to come white. I need to get the orange dye, magenta, light blue. Uh, etc 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 for all the different colors and then I can get my Open sheep the door <laughs> hmm? UPS I, I believe he's looking for a signature on delivery I'll be right over to your place in just a second <laughs> Why? For payment. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wanna use the uh the light gray. Logical Geek Boy had has a video out that he just recently put together. Um, it is <laughs> one of the Moyang developers was asking for people's recommendations for uh, problems that they'd like to see fixed, and I'm running into one of the ones right now where. Uh, so Logical Geek Boy put together the, the list of 20 things that he would like, small annoying things that he would like to see fixed, because that's what they're asking for. Um, I'm running into one of them right now, and that <laughs> that is, if you're dying, if you're dying glass, you put, you go to a crafting table, and you put one die in the center and eight glass. Same thing with terracotta. But with wool, it ends up being a one-to-one. -one. So why does it take? Why why can't I do this and use one die for eight wool, like I can with glass and terracotta and everything else? And glass doesn't absorb dye. They have to use more to to dye the wool fabric. Really, that's what we're going with. It's true. And the terracotta. I don't know. It doesn't seem to take much coffee to stain my shirt. Why should it take that much dye to dye the wool? Terracotta is like mud. You just add <laughs> food coloring. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but your shirt isn't a, you know, meter by meter cube of cloth that needs to be dyed either. I don't know. The washing machine would beg to differ. The washing machine has problems. We don't talk about it. It's it's just getting old. There's no shame in getting old. So I'm told. Truth. <laughs> Wow, that that was that was pretty quick on the. Uh... <laughs> All right, how do I want to do the trading booth for these guys? 
I'm tempted to pack the pack these villagers in as tight as I can. Just because I really don't feel like using up that much space for them. Get some more floor out first. Okay. This is the space I have to work with. I don't want the villagers to be able to try pathing out, otherwise they they get they get mightily confused. Although, I think my floor is too low into the void to do the double carpet trick. Because one carpet's going to go right there, and one... Oh, no. No, I, I get enough. I get enough room to double carpet. Okay. Uh, if you stack two carpets on each other, the villagers can't figure out how to path over that. So they don't. Where'd my other carpet go? Seriously? It fell through the floor? That's just... That's just wrong. <sighs> grumble, grumble, grumble. Alright, uh... Let's put... mm, I must be doing something wrong, because Turtle Egg is not bringing in the, the bacon. What do you mean? We got a turtle egg sitting here where everybody can see it, and they're all just kind of standing there. Is there enough space above it where they think they could jump? Actually, it's just kind of sitting up in the air. So they no, can't. There's no path to it. No. There, yeah, there there needs to be a. They they need to think they can get to it, even if they can't actually get to it. But they need to be able to ha have a clear path to it and think that they've got enough room to jump on it. So if there's not uh, two, it's either two or three blocks of space above it, uh, and what at least appears to be a clear path towards it, even if you're just using like uh, trapdoors with an open open space so they fall through it. Um, they they just the important thing is that they have to think they can get to it. They're like teenagers. If they don't think they can do it, they're not even going to try. Dang. Am I wrong? <laughs> uh, this is the part I struggle with. The decorative type things. Alright, so. Although, I think I want to park them on top of their workstation. So that way I don't have the workstation in the way when they, uh. try to, uh. try to get me XP. So. could pack them in rather tight by using uh, trap doors. You guys aren't doing what I was wanting you to do. I'm working on it. Oh. This little piggy wandered away. No, 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 no. Trapdoors, trapdoors. 
not doors, trap doors. All right. That was almost bad. See if these guys have uh, been productive enough to get me one more golem's worth. Oh, beautiful. Sell me a diamond hoe. <laughs> well, that seems less than helpful. <laughs> uh, potentially. Oh, I need more. Uh, I need more emeralds from them, though. Uh, no, not you. Uh, can I buy enough boots to get you? No. All right. I'll, I'll be back to level you guys up more. Uh, just as soon as y'all agree to take, you know, iron, we'll, we'll be off to a great start. Oh. So now that I got the iron for the two golems, I've got most of the floor space. <laughs> I, I hate that I gotta move that now. Alright, let's get our last block of iron in place. There's my two golems. There's, um. I got some more emeralds, Andy. Uh, let me put the spare boots away. Hmm. Actually, since I got the levels, what you got for me? Ooh, protection four. I'll take that. Come on, guys, get get the anvil going. Cause I just got on breaking three, depth strider three, and protection four. As soon as I can combine these two boots. <laughs> oh wow! Huh? You need depth strider four around here. <laughs> uh, the for the principal. Duh. Okay. 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 Principal stinks, man. All right. Let's see. Actually, I could put a wall across the back. Get the villager in line there. So maybe block him in like that. Problem is, I really need a way for the uh, for the ec to get the XP. Although, no, that wasn't really a problem in the in the old in the old farm. We were able to get that around the corner, especially if uh, 
So we'll have the workstation, a carpet. Maybe I will go ahead and just do like that. So we'll go to three. Lucky 13 over at the end there. Oh, sad puppy alert. Challenge going back up, back set, back set up, back set up, set back up. All right, there we go. Um, what's the name of that challenge again? That's the expert farmer. And we got. Sky block. There we go. Expert farmer, and I just need seventeen more pumpkins. tile floor. Once I figure out the rest of the structure that I want around these guys, I'll figure out how to how to handle lucky number 13 over there. Alright, I know I need at least one of these guys, so let me figure out some workstation stuff first. So if I do that... Okay. 
I was kind of worried about that. I'll get my stone cutter. Ultimately, I just want the quartz off him, which is the top trade off of all of them, right? Yes. Yeah. Top two trades on all stone masons is quartz pillar and quartz. Okay. Good. That's what I want. I kind of wish we'd get one of these guys to sell another brick too. That'd be kind of nice. Maybe I just need to get the gold cranked. Alright, so I need at least one mason. I need... Ooh. Uh... Cartographer's table is... Two paper and four planks? Question mark? Yes. Because I'm definitely going to want a cartographer. The uh, cartographer will buy glass panes and the librarians will sell you glass. So that is, and it works out to a profit, a net profit, assuming you have the emeralds to kickstart it. So as long as you got the initial input emeralds, which the iron farm means I will always have. Um, you, you can really rack up the emeralds as fast as these guys will trade. In a standard Minecraft world, you just get a, a haul of 24 people and just have half of them, uh, <laughs> half of them librarians and the other half cartographers, and you just kind of go up and down and up and down until, uh, until you, all right, so I got the weaponsmith, the toolsmith, um, There's nothing I want to buy from the Shepherd. He doesn't sell dyes, he buys dyes. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. I use him to get rid of all the black ink I have. Yeah. That's only if I'm lucky enough for that to be one of his uh, apprentice trades. Mm-hmm. I had to kill him twice. I mean... Send uh, him off to the early retirement home? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do I need a leather worker? Sh shepherding's back-breaking labor. I mean, I just had to bring in someone new. Yeah. That's all. It, it took a while to find the proper candidate for the job, so, you know, you, you, you provided some early termination after their 90 days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do I need... A leather worker. Do you produce leather? Uh, I can cook zombie flesh for leather. Oh, that's cheap. I said, do you produce leather? You uh, you okay over there? Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, wow. okay. Gotta rethink strategy here. Let me get out of the nether for a while. How how bad? Uh, like um, lots and lots and lots of very angry pig dudes that are now inside my entire glass base. Oh. 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 Yeah. Uh. I don't think anybody else is in the nether, so now might be a good time to um, affect a strategic retreat. Yeah, so the great thing is, is that, you know, if you have um, a single wide corridor with two trap doors that you can open up so they fall in, mm -hmm. if you put walls at the end of that, they can skirt around the uh, the thing and actually get past the walls. Uh, run that by me again. Okay. So you have two blocks mm -hmm. that go into a a in the void. So two open holes. Yep. You have two trap doors over the top, or a trap door each over the top of those two. Mm -hmm. 
so when you aggro them, they run over the trap doors, but you open the trap doors and then they fall into the pit. Okay. Okay, well, at the end of the second trap door, where the wall is to keep me safe, I put walls, not... I, I took down my glass blocks and put walls. Okay. They can now skirt around the hole past the wall. Mm. I'll, I'll have to take a look. I, I'm sure it's uh, something that I did wrong, but somehow they they made their way around the wall. Wouldn't necessarily say it's something you did wrong. Yeah. But oh, no, <laughs> it's something but to look at. <laughs> so far, every time I've complained about something being broke, it's not broke. I just did something wrong. So, <laughs> from a sample size, uh, that, it's a small sample size. Oh, this is not good because they're all over the place in here still. Yeah, nobody's in there right yeah, now. Still mad at me. Arcadius is an AFK in front of him, so uh, it, it should this this two should pass. I just realize I'm gonna need I'm gonna still need access to some of these workstations. Like I've only got the one uh, brewing stand, so uh, <laughs> if I put a backward stair there, I can still reach those. Uh, it looks a little ugly on the underside there, but uh, I can also do that. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll figure uh, I'll figure another something across the top to keep them from walking forward. I really should uh, get some more lights in here too. Uh, what I want to build this out of. I should build it out of diorite just, just because. Just because. For no good reason other than just because. Got the diorite to spare. Go ahead. Uh, I, I've actually been turning a lot of the diorite into andesite. I've been giving all the diorite over to... Uh... My stonemasons. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind. I'm kind of hoping that that'll be one of his. Uh, one of his trades. Oh, oh. Um. Okay, so it's not just the walls because I replaced the wall with glass again. Mm hmm. And they just walked over the top of my open hole like there was nothing there. Is it a one wide gap or a two wide gap? It's a one wide gap. Um, there might be a reason why every farm I've seen uses a two wide gap. Okay. Um. Well, I never. It, it's it's back to the exact same way it was before, and I've never had a problem with it. Hmm. And all I'm really trying to do is just to get them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay, cool. I can actually pick. I picked up almost everything through the glass. Awesome. Oh, but cool. I'm still wearing most of my armor. But I do have my weapons. So, in my tools. Uh, do I need a Fletcher? I 
I'm going to be able to get arrows from the farm. I don't use that many arrows anyway. Got my good sword. Got iron, so that means I can build a crossbow, which I'll never use. Be nice to buy an enchanted. No fisherman. Ooh, I need a. I need at least one farmer. Yeah, I need at least one farmer. Uh, time to make another composter. just a matter of yeah I guess I'll just do the rest as librarians I need three more because I've got I've got an armor and while the prices and enchanting may vary he'll get me diamond armor which if I don't like the enchantment I'm okay with disenchanting and just uh, getting the books and doing it myself so, I've got the armor. I don't need a butcher. Cause I don't even know. I'd need a wandering trader to get a to get the stupid sweet berries, and I haven't seen one of those jokers. No, the only wandering trader that spawned spawned on Rayest's island while I was working on mine. <laughs> So I am over there getting the dirt to start moving the grass so I can make a, uh, a flower farm over where the mob farm is. And I see I see a wandering trader has spawned near a non-junior. Like, ooh, finally, I got a wandering trader nearby. And I go search my island top to bottom. I can't find this joker. And I'm like, I wonder. And I go over to Rayest Island. And there he is on the platform on Rayest Island near me. I may have pushed him into the void in a fit of anger. You could have just pushed him to your island. No, he was too far away. And there was no clear path. Yeah. Otherwise, I, I... I can neither confirm nor deny that I, that I may have contemplated doing such a thing. Sure, we'll go with that one. Oh, I came here for three more. Yeah, good. Oh, that's right. I was double checking. Uh, do I want two cartographers? Because that'd make the emerald thing go a lot faster. Hmm. Uh, I really wouldn't mind two clerics, but I don't have another blaze rod to make another uh, potion brewing stand. And if push comes to shove, I can always I can always uh, obtain another villager. Although there's a lot of librarians I'm going to need, I do not relish that that particular task though of trying to get the librarians I want. I do not like that one bit. Um, man, I'm sorely tempted to get a second cartographer just for the emerald trade. Because as much as I, I wouldn't mind another farmer too. Uh, yeah, let me let me do let me do two farmers and two cartographers. Because uh, I, I do plan on getting a proper 
I do plan on getting a, a proper melon pumpkin farm going, and I'm going to need at least two of those guys to, to trade for melon pumpkin. And the cartographers will help with... Uh, will help with the, uh, the whole emerald problem. Man, if only I could keep piglins from spawning on the same spot that the daggone skeletons are spawning on. Oh, yeah, no, unfortunately there's not. Oh, hey, a wandering trader. Oh, hush. Jerk. He just appeared in my, like, river right here. <sighs> Aqueduct or whatever you want to call it. Rub it in. I think what I'll do is I'll work I, I'll take a I'll take a villager one at a time work with the lectern until I see that I'm going to get the trade oh oh my careful Arcadius he's catching up I don't know how they're getting past that I don't understand how what uh, okay okay I got it You get it? Yeah, it's time to calm down. Deep breath. Musa. Coffee break? Coffee break. Mm-hmm. I've lost both of my really good swords. I've lost all of my really good armor. I've lost uh, three sets of tools, my awesome bow... Um, and I still just don't understand how they're getting across that gap. Because that gap is now fixed back the way it was beforehand. Where it was working fine? To get it. Yeah, when it was working fine, I've got it fixed the same way. Mm hmm. Yeah, I just don't understand how they're getting past it. Well, next time you're on, throw me a uh, permission and I'll try and walk through and see if I see anything. I would like to not walk directly into the fire. That'd be nice. Um, that's right. I'll wait until I get... Oh, never mind. I got all these barrels out here. Some idiot's gonna attach themselves to a barrel, aren't they? station at the end there. All right. 
right. So I got some barrels for trading supplies because I'm going to try to keep the trading supplies near near the people. So I'll probably go, you know, like run down, run down there and start grabbing more of the sugar cane for trading over here. Um, likewise, I, I'll store some glass over here for uh, for those guys and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, hmm. And what I'll do is I'll work one of those villagers over to an intermediary station with a lectern and then lock them into the villager trade that I want there and then roll them over to the lectern here. Uh, I just need to figure out the rest of the booth. Do, do I want... Uh I mean, everything else has this fancy stone base and then uh, a wood, a wooden top. So I guess I'll, I'll I'll go something something similar. So let's uh, let's start like that. Kind of has the benefit of um, also reflecting that tile there. Well, benefit drawback, I'm not sure which. Um, I'll grab some stone. And... And a site. And... Cobble? Although. the stone away. Put the cobble away. Let's get the granite put away. And all this, because I'm done. No, I'm not done with that yet. But I don't need that much, so... that stack there, we'll get that stack there. We'll keep what I've got for the moment. I'm going to need a back wall and a roof. That's dark oak and spruce, I think. Have enough dark oak and spruce? I probably do. Um, yeah, that's spruce. Dark oak. Let's see if we can trade trade these guys up with some of the iron that we got now. That's what I'm talking about. Two stacks in a bit. Uh, which one to use the one? Uh, come here, Mr. Gold. Let's, uh... Oh, you're locked out on that for now. Except you should be leveling up now, right? Now, now you're going to level up. And what do you have at 
the emerald level. <laughs> you buy diamonds. <laughs> That's funny. Ooh. I'll take that efficiency two shovel. Yeah. Ow! Oh, for two more emeralds than what you'll... Ah, you bum. All right. At least get another one of those. I really need more coal so I can get you guys traded up. Uh, nope. Uh. Oh, for serious guys, come on. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to throw that in there. Oh, come on. Can, can, can I not pick that up? <sighs> Alright. I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> Ow! One emerald short. Never mind. I'll come back tomorrow. This hallway. I need to light this hallway too. All right, how are my dark oak and spruce supplies? Dark oak's looking okay. Spruce is looking a little thin. I could do some jungle, but that's not going to mix with the dark oak at all. I could do the oak. Or I could go grab some dirt and farm some oak, or some spruce. Uh, I'll, I'll do that between now and next time. I'll get my, get my spruce Bruce up until then. Uh, the real question is how am I going to move some of these guys up here? I did not think that part through. Nope. I did not think that part through at all. Well, I'm going to have to have a good think on that one too. Let's put that away for now. Let's put that away for now. Alright, so that's what I need to do. I need to get some more dark oak and spruce. I need, I need to figure out where I'm going to put my cobble generator. And I think I might do that on the other side of here. I might take... Uh, I might relabel these and given that I'm already uh, a little tight on space with the granite and andesite barrels I might just go ahead and move these onto here somewhere and do do maybe like because uh, I don't I don't expect to have that much stone given how much effort it takes to, to put it all together um, so I might take those top four there, or those top four there, for these four stones here. I don't know what I'll put in the barrels in their place instead, but I'll keep those there for the moment. Um, 
Actually, let me just go ahead and do that right now. While I'm thinking of it. Because I don't expect to need more than a double chest of each of these. Which means I'll probably end up needing more than a double chest of each of these. We'll do that. Um, yeah, that works. Oh, I, I can get enough iron to make anvils and start naming these. I'm going to I'm going to rename these and then lock all the item frames so I can't accidentally pop stuff off. That'll be so nice. Something else will probably end up going in there. I have no idea what, but uh, I'm kind of happy that I've so far put together more storage than I got stuff for. Uh, I'll figure out the rest as I go. Uh, I guess I could actually spread out some of these uh, precious stuff. Oh, no, that's what I can do. I can move my precious into one or more of these guys and, uh, and spread out the redstone components into these barrels. That's what I'll do. I'll probably do that off camera, though. Uh, just like I'm going to start moving villagers in here as soon as I figure out how. And then... Then I'll get the, the back wall done. And, uh, and get my 13th guy over here. The big, the big time suck is going to be these guys here and trying to get, um, trying to get the, the lectern to figure it out. Cause I, I, I need to figure out which enchantments I definitely, definitely need somebody to produce, especially since I got what, six, seven, 
seven of them that that are going to produce enchantments. So I got I got to pick and choose very carefully. Uh, mending, unbreaking, for certain. Because mending and unbreaking go on everything. Like mending, unbreak, you know. I could do signs. We got mending and breaking. Unless I can get them into one of those other guys, I'm going to need a silk. Silk touch guy. Fortune. Uh, protection. What am I missing? Key enchantments, mending and breaking, silk touch, fortune, protection, oh, sharpness. Uh, and looting. That's all the major ones, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, if that's all I got, those are gonna be the uh, those are gonna be the big ones, right? Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend time fussing with tridents. I usually do it just to have a trident. I very rarely use them for swords. I'm going to need mending and unbreaking and looting. I'm, I'm not going to bother getting a sharpening, uh, a sweeping edge guy. Sharpness. And that's for the swords. For the axe, I need med Oh, oh, I need an efficiency guy. Uh, or do I just want to take my chances on the table until I get efficiency? No, I want an efficiency guy. Matter of fact, more important than a looting guy is an efficiency guy. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world if I don't get looting. That means my mob farm's a little less productive, but uh, I, I, I much prefer... I'm going to get far more usage out of the efficiency guy because that's going to be all the tools. Because the picks and the shovels are all mending and breaking efficiency and fortune or silk touch. Mending and breaking protection gets most of my armor stuff squared away, except for the feet, which could really use feather falling. Uh... And Depth Strider is nice because I just like having Depth Strider, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Mending for my bow, and I just might take my chances on the enchanting table for the bows. And just hope I can get a, something with uh, power. Power and flame. It'd be kind of nice to get a, a mending and infinity kind of guy, too. See what I can get just with what I got here. It might be okay anyway. If I use the spruce a little more sparingly. the top so that way if I ever got to drop that for some reason it'll keep them from wandering forward. Uh, something across that way that'll uh, 
keep them in one place. Just do it like that. Okay, let me go grab some temporary blocks. If I can get the uh, trapdoors where I want them. put some stairs or slabs or something across the top. I don't I don't like the way that looks. I like that that awning will keep them from moving forward and if I really need to I can close that to protect them too. I just need to I need to put something across the top here. Cuz I don't like that sharp incline. Hmm. I gotta make sure I get farmers that actually do melon pumpkin trades too because if I remember that was part of our problem with uh, a couple of our farmers last last season uh, one of them is a guarantee the other one is not yeah no they gotta have both um, I, I, I am not <laughs> no I'm, that's what I'm saying is uh, yeah no no no, 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 no. The... I, I, yeah I know what you mean uh, it it they will always do a pumpkin trade. They may do a melon trade, right? I think it's the other way around. Yeah? Yeah, I think they will always have a melon trade because it's four for four for one. It's the pumpkin that they may or may not have. Uh. Hmm. What can I throw in that corner to give it just a little bit more of a, a gradient? Which was our biggest issue, because we had a ton more pumpkin than we did melon, just for the... Yeah, but the the melon trade gave you more. Uh, it was a six for one, compared to the four for one. Uh, so. But it gave you more XP, and uh, your return on emeralds was a little bit better, because it's a higher level trade. I don't know. I'll take your word for it. Fine. I don't know how I made that jump over there, but all right, whatever. Keep putting that half stack of slime away. I keep needing temporary blocks. Yeah, this might be this might be a little bit of a struggle for for.
for a smidge. Still have, no, I used up a bunch of spruce stairs. I need to get the custom stone cutter recipes together to do uh, stairs and slabs and such. So that way uh, you can make wood stairs and slabs in your stone cutter at the better rates that stones get from your stone cutter. It's on my to-do list. I like that better. And then maybe I'll run some slabs across the top and I can fill, I can put some uh, glowstone or jack-o'-lanterns or something. I thought I had a bunch of glowstone somewhere. Or, you know, maybe it's in the box. No, that's not a bunch. That is not even close to a bunch. But that'll help me solve the lighting problem, so I can definitely do that. Uh, to get a little more a little more light in this area. Oh. And, of course I did. I might be calling it uh, very, very shortly here, because I'm... Not even completing sentences, apparently. Yep. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. That's usually a sign that you might want to consider calling it a night. Dark oak stairs, apparently, too. That also keeps this top spot non-spawnable. I'll fill that void back there with something. I'll probably fill above the post with cobblestone because that's what I got a bunch of. And it bothers me to leave empty spaces. Actually, let's do that right now. because that's part nobody's going to see. And then I'll put lamps or something above each of these guys. Maybe jack-o'-lanterns, because that's, that's what I can readily get a supply of.
There we go. Alright, I got some little handy villager stations now. I still have access to the workstation if I need it. I can drop this to get XP if I have to, and they can't walk out because their forehead won't let them walk past that trapdoor there. I can lock them in. I just need the back wall and to uh, to figure out how to get one of one <laughs> one at a time of those guys in uh, in their respective boxes, their respective holes. I think I'll grow a bunch of spruce and dark oak. And I'll... Actually, I, I don't need to do the whole thing. I just need to do enough to fill that spot there. Do I have enough fence? Actually. All I'm doing is that back... That back bit. I could probably just use these regular logs, too. Alright, uh, let me, uh, do I have enough jack-o'-lanterns to do thir- no. Where's 13 pumpkins? Ow! And I guess I, I, I can be a little more free with the shears now, too. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I mean, I, it's me, so I'm probably still gonna be a little stingy with the shears, but, uh, I, I could be more free. Mm -hmm. I could. I'm probably not, but I could. <laughs> I don't know. Some things oh. won't change. You could always do what I did and put on breaking three mending on your shears. I I did that last season. <laughs> All right. Uh, I hate taking out of that. Now I'm 25 pumpkins away, but this is for a good cause. Because then I can start moving uh, villagers over. I have to go compost those 52 pumpkin seeds. Goodness. Alright, so there's my 13 lanterns. That gets me a little more lighting in the hallway. That gets me lights where it's really important over where the villagers are. Um, oh, is that carpet going to push them up just that little bit extra? That probably is. That means that jack-o'-lanterns are not the right light source for this. Don't got it. Because they're too, their noggin is too high for them to fit. Uh, well, like all my lanterns, please. Oh, that's right. They're they're still up in the in the other wall. Because that carpet makes them just a little too tall to fit under here. So I need a light source with a slightly lower hitbox. Uh, oh, I have iron now. I... <laughs> spend a fair amount of time trading with those guys, get them traded up. I'll finally get some decent uh, armor and tools. That should be enough. Yeah, because in the season uh, in the season one chapel uh, the clerics were all on top of a carpet with a lantern above them. 
So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's get that back up. And we'll put that in there for now. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. Probably go fishing since it's raining. I still need to get that uh, the deep ocean unlocked by fishing up uh, a bunch of stuff. Oh, what? That was enough. That was enough. Five dirt left over. Nice. I am done. Sweet. Completely terraform. Grass grown, bushes trimmed, everything. This place is done. I just gotta finish the top of that tower over there. Wait, 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 wait. I, if you just gotta finish, then that no, is no, not... No, no, no. I said the landscaping is done. Okay, okay. For a second there, it really did sound like you say, this is done. And I was like, okay, cool, this is done. I just gotta... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. Landscaping. 100% done. I just gotta finish the top of that tower. And then the island is done. All right, hang on. Let me, uh... Let me switch over to this cam and chat real quick. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop back on on my camera account. So I can do a proper tour and actually look around, look around. Um... Uh oh, I just realized that XSplit hoards resources, so this might not work the way I think it will. We'll see. Play nice with Optifine now. You were playing nice earlier. Oh, there's a hungry Jobo. An hour away from being fed. Poor guy. Oh, did the stream freeze? Or is that just on my side? Because, uh, yeah. Ah! All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry about the, uh... Okay. I am on my camera account. Uh, so again, we've got a small platform right there that the that the uh, iron golems can spawn on. It kills them pretty quick. All the all the water is flowing down towards that one hopper. Although realistically, if you put one on that side and one on that side, it does go a little quicker. These are waterlogged stairs that are helping to direct the water towards the hopper um, and because they're high enough from the ground uh, the the only spawnable place for the golems is up there and again the front that's the that's the link for the farm design and all that and the wonderful village people Let's head on over to Arcadius's place, and then we'll uh, wrap up taking a peek around x -Medic's place. Follow him around. Uh, there's no reason to come back over here. I haven't really done much since last time. Ooh. I haven't had a chance. I haven't been on. 
Oh, the hedge maze is new. I like that. I, I, I like that. Arcadius. Mm hmm. I really, really like that hedge maze. Oh, thank you. Uh, I had a lot of help with that. <laughs> <laughs> help placing uh, it down or help uh, a as in uh, somebody provided all the leaves for you? Well, not all of them. Someone provided me like a couple of stacks, which I was very grateful for. But uh, actually, Ray S helped me with the maze pattern. So ah. it's an actual maze. Okay. Um, the storyline is, is when you come down into this section, it is the Royal Garden, and this is the uh, Princess's Maze, which <clears> it'll say over on the uh, entrance sign, just in front of the ah. uh, the Gardener's Hut. He likes to fish, which is why he's a fisherman. <laughs> he's actually the Gardener. Okay. Yeah, I like the dock. Although, is there a reason why there's only one leg on the dock? Because otherwise it looks hideous. Because you can't just have, you know, fence coming down. Oh, because of the one block that's there. So yeah. it attaches to it and then... Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fair. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that. <laughs> okay. Nice. And then... Next to it, we got your little melon pumpkin farm. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's a shrine. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Little. Yep. Don't don't look there. Don't don't, don't go I... in there. Don't cry. Go away. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Are you using the red red sand to grow your uh sugar cane just to flex on the red sand or is there No, that's completely decorative. If you Okay. Zoom in close enough, you'll notice that there's a string over the top of all of that. I did not notice that. But I mm -hmm. don't think you can see that in spectator mode either. Oh, no, there it is. Okay. Ow. Mm -hmm. I have a sugarcane farm down below. I guess that's your little micro... Yep, just another shrine. You know, they come and they, they pay homage or do whatever they do there. But yes, ultimately it's a micro farm. And then is this your actual... No, that's your cacti, cacti farm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, cactus actually don't need uh, sky access. Yeah, but they were giving me such a hassle at the beginning, I just left it open. Okay. Because I couldn't tell. <laughs> no, that's fair. That's, I Believe me, I, I feel that. In your decorative crop design with your one should, should I should I go switch my admin account into creative and uh, hoe that last patch for you there <laughs> I did not know that was like that I'll have to go fix that some random mobs must have done that for me but yeah if yeah. you're uh, walking across the bridge when you first come into the area like a normal instead of flying around it actually makes clean lines coming across oh you mean coming across here like this yeah yeah makes clean lines yeah. oh clean diagonals exactly for diagon alley mm-hmm exactly and then you've got the uh the shepherd he lives in there don't look in there you don't want to look in there <laughs> with your egg farm going <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I got I got to do something about my egg farm too, and start turning it into a chicken cooker or something. If you look at the ceiling, you'll see. Uh... Yeah, I remember you working on that on a live stream, the where you're trying to do, make it look like a roll-up door for your uh, mm -hmm. little piggy farm and all that. Mm -hmm. And your one little bit of grass on the corner for the sheepies. Oh, yeah, no, I keep those six blocks there mm -hmm. because they can't eat those. If I were to completely oh, yeah. strip them, 
they will clear that entire thing out and the grass has to fully grow back in. Yeah, yeah. 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 That That's why the sheep farm in season one had several glass blocks over grass blocks. So that way there was always a block available to uh, to grow from. Because otherwise these guys would eat themselves out of house and home. Yeah, yeah they will. <laughs> I didn't realize that until after they did it to me. <laughs> and that's when those six <laughs> blocks got installed. Okay. Yep. No, no, no grass for the uh, for the cows and the piggies. Oh no, no, no! I uh, I took a page from real life. They don't give them grass in real life. Why should I? And no. besides, I wanted to flex and put down something uh, expensive. Expensive. Yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> I was gonna let that one ride. Actually, if you go in the building there, I'm not sure which of the boxes it is that's in the stables, but I made armor for all those guys, mm -hmm. and then can't use them. Because skeletons can't wear armor. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the skeleton horses can't wear armor. Yeah, they, they just get a saddle. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep. Man, it's a shame we don't have some sort of racing game, because one of those skeleton guys is, like, pretty fast. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so. Is this your uh, blacksmith hut? Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. Okay, here's the one that I kept meaning to check on, but you were never around when I was looking and I couldn't open the door because I was on my regular account. Who you got in here? Or is this just your... Oh, you just have six random villagers for... Because? Yeah, that's the breeding hut. How, how do you have villagers left over? I haven't used them yet. I mean, I... I I'm chafing at the 16 villagers. Well, I haven't needed them. I mean, look at everything I've done already. Oh. What? Don't, don't look at that. Go away. Go away. Oh. This is redstone with uh, Arcadius. It's not supposed to look pretty. Okay, B-dubs. <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like it's going to be interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, I take it you get your quartz from your stonemason? Uh, no, no. Most of that came from the nether. <laughs> oh. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my, indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of prismarine, too. But you've also got your guardian farm going. I, I still got to get the deep ocean biome unlocked. Oh, no, I don't. It's off. This is a mushroom biome right now. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I need I need the biome unlocked. Oh, oh. this yeah, is this is the one that hard. kills me. Where you start using ancient debris as a decorative block. Yeah, I think it looks nice. It looks like shingles. I mean, it does look nice. Don't don't hear what I'm not saying. But you know, g given how hard it was to oh. How's your cat problem? <laughs> oh, they get stuck in there. They can't get out, so it's okay. So you don't I run into funny. So you don't run into the problem of like eighty-two cats floating around, or? Well, I might, but you know. Because I mean, I, I'm I actually kind of surprised because I, I see the two that you got tamed there, that you had kept as a creeper defense system until you've unlocked the mushroom. Mm-hmm. And switch it all over to to a mushroom biome. Ah, okay. There's your enchanting setup. Nice. <laughs> yeah, there's there's nothing fancy upstairs. I'm not big on interior. I don't know. That exterior looks good though. I like it. And I like the portal design. Much appreciated. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to do something about that at some point. I really like the... Uh, I haven't seen it from the air, because obviously I can't fly, but I, I like what I did with the, the yeah. terraining, the up and down, and 
It's not just yeah, flat. The variable terrain is nice. That That is something that I, I should probably do on my own island. But I haven't started working on the top yet either. And I know, I know Medic was talking about doing a hill that slopes up towards the back, away from everybody else's island. Mm -hmm. I, I like the design profile change. You've got this, like, castle keep look. Yeah. Right next to my wide open, like, terrain. Yeah. Like, you go out here to visit the palace and the gardens and the farmland. And, you know, the spiritual center, you know, the church uh, and the graveyard. And then you have, like, his fortress where it's all, like, they have jobs, they have houses. This, this this also speaks to some of the differences between the way each of us on, on the server approaches things. Because you've got this fully fleshed out, well-designed, landscaped, and the bare minimum machinery. Hey, hey, uh, hey, I, hey, I, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I, I've got, I've got the farms and such, and the grindy projects, and a little glass grass block. You know that that might eventually one day be an island. And then we got the blend of the two, in between the two. <laughs> <laughs> fair, it's very fair. A lot of water he's got going on there. What's going on there? Because uh, that's part of his river that's going to flow into the moat. Just the moat's not there yet. Oh, that's cool. Again, I can't fly, cool. so I don't see any of this. Oh, so that's what you're talking about, where they eat themselves out of grass? <laughs> mm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. That is a huge fish tank over there. Yeah, I noticed that too, but he's also got all those landing platforms for dropping down. Yeah, those are funny. I, I, I like that. That is funny. Okay, that's right. He was in the middle of working on that part too. All right. Yeah, once I get, once I get the... Uh, cobble generator move down there and I get the villager trade set up and I start getting a steady a steady supply of tools and other resources I'm going to get back I'm going to get to working on designing the upper island what I want is I want to maintain the center column the the this is as close to the exact center of the island as you can get or at least the exact center of the original island is where the ladder is uh, so I want to mimic the, uh, granite and andesite walkway coming out of the center up here, which means I'm going to have to remove some of these grass blocks, but I wanted to get a few more grass blocks on either side and have, uh, f uh, walkways going out in the four cardinal directions. Um, although that one's going to have to make a slate right. Um, <laughs> well, if I did it correctly, could be off by a block or two. Uh, the dragon snout mm -hmm. is the dead center of my original island. Like it's where yeah. the base of the tree was. Yeah, that that that's what uh that's what I was trying to maintain is not center as in you go chunk by chunk to find the center center, but the center of where the starting island was, and that's where that ladder is now. Uh, so a little, uh, I probably won't have a water filled pool, but I'll have the same basic pattern design as what I got going down there up here. Um, uh, I want to do four, four little garden, garden-esque areas, maybe with some statuary and, uh, and then start building, uh, concentric buildings around out to the edges Maybe. Possibly. Although, 1.18 will probably be out long before the, I get to that part. Um, one of the other projects that I was... I, I've been slowly moving this line of dirt from the grass blocks up there. So that way I can build a flower farm up here on top of where this area is. 
Um, I'll make sure that it's nothing spawnable directly above that, and these two chunks will just be the, the chunks that I use for random terrain changing projects. So, like right now, they should be uh, another waste. Oh, I can't F3 while I'm in spectator mode. Uh, these two chunks should be nether waste, but I'll change them over to uh, plains or flower forest or whatever. Um, and then use that setup for, for maybe a flower farm to get the dyes that I need. Uh, maybe I'll eventually get um, sheep and... Or maybe I'll try to get some sheep and passive mobs from there. Uh, like maybe at least one more parrot so I can start getting a flock of parrots. Um... <laughs> I need to do an ice tray at some point too because uh, the waterways that are under this blocks keep getting stuck like uh, cactus in particular keeps getting stuck if it's coming from one of these side pieces over here so if it falls down this hole here it doesn't always have enough momentum to get under that gap and into this spot here so I want to replace the, the floor on all of these waterways with ice. Eventually. Um, I mean, although you could always just buy your ice from a trader. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> Rub that in. <laughs> Rub it in. I mean, the one on my island right now is selling blue ice. <laughs> <sighs> So this will be the villager trading hall. That That's probably going to take the work of a weekend or so. Although uh, I think we got some other plans for this Saturday. So I, I might not get as much done, especially since tomorrow uh, I'm going to end up working late to make up time for a doctor's appointment just to follow up on some stuff. Uh, hmm. All right. So let me hit the credits, say thank you for joining along. I uh, hope you had fun every Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I stream off of the CoffeeCraft server. We try to get as much of the server on as we can when we can, just depending on uh, who's, who's where and what's going on. On Fridays... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to type and talk at the same time, and it's not working out. Oh, Beast Lord's not on. Grimly's not on. Nobody... Nobody I know is on. Oh, well. I guess there's not going to be a raid today. Because uh, no, nobody, nobody that I feel comfortable raiding is available. That's a shame. Alright, so... Uh, Friday... It is my plan to get back to Zelda. I won't be able to do the prep tomorrow, but I should be able to get the prep done Thursday, so that way Friday I can get back on track with Games Revisited. It's been too long. I, I really, really dislike the, 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 the protracted hiatus that happened. But that's the way life goes sometimes, and that's the way life went. But uh, getting back on track... I'll do something on Friday, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, and I will see you then. Have fun.